Okay, today I went to the Dollar Tree and I did another little haul. And I love that Dollar Tree has now gone to paper bags and they're also made with 40% recycled material, so that's good. And then I also use bags like this. I uh, shred them up and I put them in my composter to use as brown material. So if you get paper bags, give that a try if you're inclined to garden. All right, now I spent, uh, can't get it to focus, $28 at the Dollar Tree. So I wanted to stack up on a couple of things. So um, what I bought was, uh, I bought some veggie straws. Now yesterday I bought veggie chips, and this is a much, much smaller bag. But these veggie straws are good, salted, uh, sea salted. They're really good. So I got a bag of those, because I don't plan on going shopping for at least another two or three weeks. So I got these cheese and sesame <coughs> croutons because I plan on having salads. I bought fresh uh, lettuce. And if you want to, go check out my video from my haul from yesterday. I got these uh, original English muffins. Now, I've never tried these, but for a dollar, I thought I'd give them a try. So I got those. My grandson likes ramen noodles and he likes the chicken flavor so I got him some of those and I like their egg noodles um, I like to put those in soups or I ha have them with uh, cabbage and noodles and I bought that cabbage shredded cabbage yesterday so that'll go with the egg noodles then I bought one more box now Dollar Tree's boxes are 20 ounces so I bought um, 25% more free. I bought just one box because I have a lot of pasta now. And uh, then I buy these uh, these Velveeta cheese packets. They're also a dollar and they come in original. And also jalapeno. I don't like the jalapeno much because I'm not a jalapeno fan. And then what I do is I cook up the macaroni and I just stick this on there. And it's cheaper than buying the Velveeta pasta uh, um, macaroni and cheese kits. It's way cheaper. So that's what I do. Then I bought one more can of the Hunts. Uh, this one's garlic and herb. Yesterday I bought three and I thought I should have bought a couple more because I'm a little light on spaghetti sauce. So I got that. I was out of onion powder so I got an onion powder. And what I did, because I was totally out, I had some um, dried chopped onion, and I just made onion powder out of those. Uh, I, I put them in my little coffee spice grinder, and that worked fine too, but I like to have extra on hand, so I bought the onion powder. Then I bought um, the chickpeas. Now, I know I could have gotten these cheaper at Aldi's, but um, I'm not going to Aldi's. So I just picked up a can there because I want to make um, like a faux tuna salad for a sandwich. Then I bought a little bit for my medical stash. I got another thing of triple antibiotic. I have an open one, but I wanted to have another extra one because you never know when you get a boo-boo and then you don't have to run out. So I got that. And since it's cold and flu season, I got uh, cold multi-symptom. And there's only 12 caplets in there, but at least it won't get too old. And for a dollar, I figured I'd pick that up. And then I also got uh, mucus relief. And there's 15 caplets in there. And that's going to go into my medical emergency box. Then I also bought, we go through a lot of... Uh, AA and AAA batteries here with grandkids and and things you know that need them so I always buy extra batteries uh, I've been using ultra bright toothpaste for years and it does a good job 
and I know you can get this at Walmart too for 99 cents but I, I figured I'm at the Dollar Tree and I'll pick up another extra one. Then I got my favorite candles. This is not my favorite scent, but it's all they had. And I actually got three of these, but one I'm already using. So, and then I got two of these. They're also a dollar. And um, they last longer than these. And I figured it's winter. If there's power outages, I'll have a couple of more candles to burn. I have a lot of candles, but I figured I'd pick those up. Then I always like to pick these up. I have a, um, an Android phone and it takes these USB cables. And um, so I got two of those because my grandson always loses his. And I like to leave these around the house just kind of plugged into outlets. And that way I don't have to run around plugging and unplugging everything. So anyway, this was my little Dollar Tree haul. And um, there is a method to my madness. So that's what I got today. I forgot to add, I also got three large gallons of water. And Dollar Tree has the, the big containers of them for a, a dollar. So I have some of those stocked up in case something happens to the water. I forget what town that was in Michigan where they, uh, their regular water supply became contaminated. So I like to keep some water around, but I don't like to buy the small plastic bottles because of the environment. I know they're handy. And, um, but... I try to stay as green as I can. All right, I went to Mark's and I spent $60.70. So this is the second haul that I've done. Okay, so that's what I spent at Mark's. I got these beauty brushes there. I Not that I needed them, but they were $1.99. And I actually, I have one brush that of mine that's my favorite. And these are sort of, uh, they're not straight. And um, I like the one brush that I have. The one I have is about this size. So I thought I would give, give these a try. So for $1.99, I may like them, I may not, but that's the only thing I bought at Mark's that I really didn't, didn't need or, you know, stuff. Anyway, um, I ended up, because I got those chargers from uh, uh, Dollar Tree, I got a couple of the, the wall converters. So I got two of those, and I did get one more of these for $2.99, because this is six feet long, and I'll give that to my grandson, too. Then I bought some almonds, because I want to try and make some almond nut cheese. And also, you can make almond milk out of these. And I like to buy the little slivered ones, because um, I don't have to peel the, uh, the skin off of them. So I usually end up buying these. I got two nice big cloves of garlic. I got some tomatoes, because mine are getting really to the point where I'm going to put them in soup. I have a few left. I was totally out of sauerkraut, which I was kind of surprised, because I usually keep a couple of jars of that around. And I've never tried this brand before. It's Bavarian style, but it sounded good. So, and I kind of have had a taste for sauerkraut. I have some potatoes that I want to use up, so, and some sausages, some vegan sausages, so I want to make some sauerkraut. Now this I'd never seen before. Cheddar cream cheese, Via Life. I don't know if it's good, but I wanted to try it. And then some uh, plain cream cheese by Dea, non-dairy. So that's for me. And then I got this, these two, uh, for my grandson because I bought some um, Asiago cheese bagels that I'll show you in a minute. So I got those for him, but I will eat cream cheese too. Um, 
I do eat cheese. And then these feta crumbles, I'll tell you, if you put these in, in a salad, they really give a salad a great flavor. So I bought those again. And I think those are like $3.99, I'm not sure. But anyway, I got another container of those. I was out of those. And I did pick up two more onion powders. The reason I didn't get them all at uh, Dollar Tree was because they only had one jar of onion powder. So I got what they had. And then I got two more because I use a lot of onion powder. Then they also had these um, steak and uh, sausage rolls. I like to put these in the toaster oven and crisp them up. And my grandson likes meatball subs, so uh, and I like veggie subs, so I got those. And uh, I got these King's Hawaiian. These are mini sub rolls because I have um, some ham left. Oh boy, my dogs were playing tag. <laughs> anyway, I had some um, ham left over for him and he likes those King's Hawaiian with the Swiss cheese and the butter on top. So I got him those. I want to use up that ham before it goes bad. I got um, extra crunchy peanut butter for me. I like the ones with the peanuts in it. And I did get another thing of Folgers coffee. I was totally out of the hazelnut so I got one of those. And the only place I can find that is at Mark, so that will go in the stash. Then I've, I've been stocking up on 100% juices, as you know, I'm trying the wine thing. But I figured even if I don't like the wine, it, juice is a good thing to have around. It'll last a while, and if you um, can't get out and get yourself some fruit, you can at least have some fruit juice. I don't drink a lot of fruit juice. But you can water it down if you want, or add it to your tea, or, um, you know, make a, a beverage out of them. So I, I got uh, a blueberry, blackberry, and acai, red raspberry, and this one is cranberry mango. That sounded good. So I have enough juice now. I have about six, six seven bottles of juice. So those will either go to make wine or in my stash for just juice. So then I also got this charcoal scrub and it's for face and body because I do like charcoal. It cleans it cleans your pores. So I got that and that was 99 cents. Then I got uh, grapes. They had those for $1.79. Then it's an okay price, but I have a lot of uh, plant-based yogurt, and I love to put grapes in my yogurt. So um, I was out of grapes. I ate them all. So I got green and red. And then I got snacks for the dogs, and I got some more little rolls. These are small rolls. I like to eat these for breakfast. Now I got these two things at Giant Eagle, and I did spend $18 there, and I also got the uh, plant-based cream cheese at Giant Eagle. So these are the Asiago cheese bagels. So as you can see, I have plenty of food. I don't skimp on food. I mean, some things I buy cheap, some things I don't. The, the juices are not real cheap. They're like $2.99 or something like that. Doesn't break the bank, but anyway, it is called Ellen's Abundant Life Unless. So you don't have to deprive yourself all the time. Get what you like, but get it at a time where you can afford it and um, when it's on sale. Hi there. So anyway, that was my shopping haul for the next couple weeks anyway, probably longer than that. Um, but I broke it up into two days because I had to go out again today and redo that appointment that I couldn't do yesterday. So I figured I might as well finish up my shopping and breaking it up into two sessions really 
uh, made it a little easier and I didn't have to haul that much stuff in and out. So that's it for the shopping for a while for me. I'm well stocked and uh, no matter what happens, I'm going to be good here in my little corner of the world. I hope your little corner of the world is doing well and you're safe and sound and healthy. And uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see what's coming up in the future here. So anyway, that's all I have for you today. Be good to yourself. Be good to others. I love you guys. I want to wish you abundant blessings, and I'll see you next time.